So we're here today with Samantha and her pony Summer. Samantha, tell us about Summer. Um, she's a therapy pony, isn't she? Hi, John. Um, Summer is now 11 years old and she is a miniature therapy horse. So she's actually a purebred Falabella and she started when she was one year old, actually in the children's hospice. So when we started, we didn't actually know what would be required of a therapy horse. Um, yeah. So hygiene protocols, things like the children would be ventilated, that she could never risk pulling a tube out. So that's where it really started. Um, and it was actually a mum who we met, oh, hello, um, on Crawford's Vern Beach, whose daughter had passed away in the hospice. And she said that if a horse had been in, it would have made a huge difference yeah. to her daughter. So that's where it started. And We've progressed from there. Right. And what sort of places do you take her to? So we go to um, dementia units. So like Lagan Valley, the Down District Hospital. We do um, the acute mental inpatient unit at the Ulster Hospital. We also do different wards where infection control would permit her to go. Yeah. Um, they actually, we don't get escorted around the hospital, which to some people find really bizarre horse coming out of a lift. Right. <laughs> but um, most people, she's been in the Ulster eight years now, so most people um, yeah, for, would be used to her? seeing her. Yeah. And then we go into special needs schools um, and we do fundraising for Angel Wishes, which is a children's cancer charity, Tiny Life, which is a premature baby charity, um, bandanas for the brave and we still fundraise for the children's hospice we just don't go in every week now it was right. just it was quite difficult you know sort of going in every week at the time yeah, it was yeah. getting quite difficult and what sort of training do you have to do for her or did you have to so, do for her yeah house training was key so house training would be a big thing for obviously <laughs> hygiene yes summer i know um but the main thing would be making sure she never went for tubes um mm -hmm. so if a child's ventilator maybe has a peg feeding tube in um or a colostomy bag anything like that we always had to be sure that she would never actually pull the tube out so for example if i or even a child who maybe can't turn their limbs summer would have to be able to take maybe a treat and tickle on command of every part of the body lips only summer so she'll actually keep her teeth closed and use just her lips yeah. so that there's never any danger. She'll pull a tube out. And if there is even a cannula in a child or even a patient, she'll never go near that arm. Um, there's always that hygiene side, just to be sure. Yeah. But in a thousand visits, she's never had any incidents. Sure yeah. you haven't. Good. No. A thousand's a big number. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot um, for a little horse. And we don't overdo her. We normally stick to sort of an hour maximum. Two hours would be the maximum we would ever do in a visit. We'd rather go back twice to one place yeah. than actually one summer. What are you doing? And you do this all voluntarily? It's all voluntary. Um, so all the special needs schools are booked a year in advance. So there's some schools we stay in for two years or longer. Um, my son's special needs school, we're actually in there 10 years now. So we'll probably still long after he's gone be in yeah. there. Um, care home's the only place we would ask for a donation, um, which would be to um, one of the charities. Yeah. Or in this climate, unfortunately, for um, a care home, we would be asking them to donate possibly to fuel just for our costs at the yeah. minute. That's the only thing. Yeah. But, um, you know, the likes of having bluegrass on board is a huge massive help because we know her nutrition's maintained and we also know um that she's going to be getting the correct feeding yeah. requirements whereas miniature horses are annoying to be um very greedy and put on weight very very quickly yeah. so this this is a huge huge boost yeah. for us to be when i spoke grass. to you before i recommended the stam 30 because it's yeah it's a just a vitamins and minerals and that's all she, she probably needs as yeah. well as her for, for forage so that's perfect because yeah. um, we actually only give them hay. So they're on micronets. So they get three micronets yeah. a day. Um, and that just spreads. It just means they're grazing as much right. as possible. Uh, obviously, as we have very restricted turnout. So yeah. um, we get them turned out to a very good lady sponsor of ours, Kate Latimer. She lets us turn them out there for free. Um, so we can put them up there. And it's a completely gated yard because I'm a little bit overprotective yeah. of summer so <laughs> um because to me she's not just my horse she is everybody's horse everybody's yeah. horse so 
Um, and she's very needy and she wants you to cuddle her and scratch her and she'll stand on your toes now. <laughs> she says more, please, yeah. under the belly. That's actually, yeah, she wants you to scratch her under her belly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you nearly had her there, the lips are gone, oh, and oh, now oh. she wants the bum scratch oh, no. as well. Oh, you're being naughty, right like. away. So, yeah, yeah, so it's just, it's it's a huge importance to us, um, and obviously feeding a little horse isn't drastically expensive, but getting the, the correct feeding mm -hmm. is key, because it does add up if you end up putting a GP supplement in, and a balancer, and nuts, and but yeah. to have one complete feed is, is fantastic yeah, for us. Yeah. And you have a number of sponsors? We do. We are very, very lucky this year. Um, this year we've actually got um, yourselves on board Bluegrass. We've had Botanica for seven years, I think, coming eight. Um, we also have uh, Esther Skelly from Shanahan Equine Services. We have Inga de Haas from Tully Rain yeah. Equine Services. Um, Kate Latimer. We also have Newsom Equestrian, who Jim and Emma Newsom are key for us letting our little horses have a, a summer away. Yeah, so we holiday. get to go to Newcastle all summer yeah. um, and I get to help them out with some of their bigger horses. So it's great. We've, we're very, very lucky. And Dora Beacom, actually from Eventing Ireland, she's chosen herself to be a sponsor for summer. So she's actually our hay sponsor, right. which is about um, a bale a week. And a lovely lady called Shelley McFarlane um, sponsors two rugs. And obviously Bluegrass has given us a lovely travel rug as well. <laughs> so she wants kisses now too. She's very needy. She? You're very needy, aren't you? Like my dog, just a bit bigger. Very much so. So what would you like the public to know about therapy horses and their benefits? Therapy horses are hugely beneficial not just in the normal aspect that people think, oh, a dog's great. I have two dogs that be rubbish at therapy. Horses have an innate ability to not ask questions. They stand, they're free to be loved. They don't demand. Um, a therapy horse that's trained like Summer will always put no instinctively when to put her head down on someone um, and also actually know where not to. Yeah. Um, if someone is actually... It's amazing. She has actually known people with been to end of life um, and she's actually known when someone has a cancer um, and I haven't known where the person has had right. the cancer and they, she's actually repeatedly nudged the area and then moved away from the area and I've then said to the patient's family, you know, right. is there something there? Yeah. And they will say yes. So... She'd be very good. Dementia patients especially have a huge relationship with horses, yeah. whether it's from that era or just the fact that people had more time to be with their animals. Yeah. Um, like you and I would have had years of just fun being in the fields, whereas now everybody's on their phone. Yeah. They don't spend time and actually interact and connect with their animals. Um, and also therapy horses, especially miniature ones, they can go into lift, Summer can go up and down stairs. So if a home, for example, doesn't have a lift, she can actually Let's maneuver the stairs. The stairs. Oh, right. um, coming down the stairs is always an issue for horses because they tend to have that launch yeah. mentality. So we had to spend time training her to go slowly. But the, the fact that they um, are so loving, genuine and kind is fantastic. I find miniature horses much, much more reliable than Shetland ponies. So for anyone who knows yeah. you want your child to learn, get them a Shetland. Um, but a miniature horse has um, a real affability and kindness and just a genuine love to want to please and be with people. And it's free. You know, yeah. they they don't ask or demand when we've, we've done trauma therapy or everything's always a question. What do you want? What do you want to do? Or special needs kids, there's always a question. 24 7 of you know from they get up in the morning what do you want what are you going to eat what are you going to do horse doesn't ask anything it just stands there and waits to be loved in whatever way that person wants to interact with them yeah. whether it's her different textures so with the um the more autistic children we would visit she has rough and spiky then mm. she's smooth yeah. then she's fluffy then she's soft and she's needy um 
and when she does get to know people more she really does have that interaction yes just undo there is oh yes just there yes somewhere. <laughs> so yeah it, it's it's invaluable um and i think that's why for us especially for children that are life limited it has to be something that you choose to undertake and understand that you don't just this isn't just something um that you come away from you meet these children and families and mm -hmm. build a bond with them and sometimes that can be lifelong until you know tragically the end of life yeah um, some of the videos i've sent you which are actually public as well um you've seen children who are now angels and their interaction with her yeah. um is is huge and it's fast and that's over years yeah. of and it's a good memories for the families as well them. yeah so what future plans does summer have Summer is going to, she's another couple of documentaries lined up, so we can't, um, non-disclosure, we can't talk about those unfortunately, but um, they will actually, well they will be with the BBC, um, and she is nominated as well for the Equine Awards, so she'll be going to it, she's actually going as a guest, All right. so she'll have to get a ball gown as well as a <laughs> mummy, won't you? So a couple of girls from my yard are going to come with me as um, support buddies that night, aren't they Summer? Um, um, but lots of smiles, making children happy, um, just trying to make a difference where she can and just being a good little horse. It's hard to believe 10 years have flown by. Yeah. But, uh, lots of love to give and she isn't just mine, she's everybody's little horse. She's very, very special and very needy as you can tell. Yeah.